Hey girl, hey, what is up? It's your girl Maya back at it again with another video. <laughs> That is actually hilarious. If you know, you know. That was like the OG intro. We said back to the back to the back with another video. video. I can't be giving y'all that, but we can be back with another video. Anyways, I'm super excited to be bringing y'all a girl chat today. It has been so long since I've just sat down with y'all and had a little girl chat, had a little key key. Y'all know I'm a hygiene girl. I absolutely love hygiene. So that's why I thought I would come here today and give you 10 hygiene tips that have literally changed my life. I feel like when I smell good, when I feel good, when my skin is soft, I just feel so much more confident. And that's what I'm trying to bring to you girls as well. I want you to feel like your best self. I want you to walk out of your home just feeling like the girl that you are. You are already that girl. And I really believe that these tips are gonna help you out tremendously to just elevate your hygiene to the next level so if you like videos like this make sure to like comment subscribe and share leave a little comment down below let me know one of the hygiene tips that you want to tell the girls because we're all in need of them okay we all need hygiene tips so make sure to let us know in the comments down below without further ado let's get into these 10 hygiene tips that have literally transformed my hygiene let's get into it gotta keep the focus in my own lane in my own way Let me just preface this by saying I'm gonna be showing you guys some products and then also just some techniques in general. But when it comes to the products, don't feel like you need to have every single product I'm about to show you, girl. Okay, these products can get expensive and you do not need to rack up a tab on Amazon or on Sephora or wherever you shop just to be a hygiene girly. There are so many ways to get the same effect by just using less expensive products. So I know we're in like an overconsumption type of era right now. And I myself am personally trying to be a more conscious consumer, but I still do value things like hygiene. Like it makes me feel good. Like I said, I love hygiene, but at the same time, I'm not trying to break my bank to smell good. Some of these options are going to be a bit more affordable and there's other dupes out there that can be even more affordable for you. So this is just the playbook, but you can tweak it how you feel you need to. So first things first, I want to talk about BHA, specifically the BHA from Paula's Choice. This is my girl. This is my girl. Not only to make my skin so, so glowy, because you guys always tell me your skin looks so glowy. And I appreciate y'all when you tell me that, but it's really this right here. When I started using a liquid exfoliant on my face, I feel like it really transformed my skincare, but that's not what I'm here to tell you. I want to give you a hack for BHA because when I started putting BHA on my hands and my feet, yes girl, you heard me right. My hands and my feet literally became so, so soft. Like transform my hands and my feet. It was the craziest thing. I was getting a facial one day and my esthetician was like, have you ever tried to put like your skincare on your hands? I was like, baby, I'm not wasting this $30 bottle of BHA on my hand. She's like, just try it out once a week. I promise you, you're gonna come back and your hands are gonna be so soft. I tried it out. Girl, when I was shaking hands, I was confident, okay? I was confident because my hands just felt so soft. And then my feet, you know how, how hard them feet can get, okay? Especially if you got kids. You walking around all the time, you might be barefoot. That's another thing, wear socks in the house all the time. But when I started putting this BHA on and then I put some fuzzy socks on, my feet literally became so soft in between my pedicures. Even the girl who did my pedicures was like, what are you doing? I was like, using the VHA. So this is definitely one of my hacks that has transformed my hygiene. I would absolutely recommend doing this once a week. Don't do it every single day because this exfoliant can be a little bit harsh. It is a little bit more powerful, but just do it once a week, twice a week max. And I promise you, you're going to see instant results. All right, next up, I want to talk about double cleansing. If you watch my hygiene routines, you know, I talk about this all the time. So I had to throw it in this video. Double cleansing is so important, especially in the warmer weather okay we're going into summer i live in georgia so it gets real hot i mean hot and you know body odor can can come a little bit faster than it usually would which is why i recommend double cleansing so the first cleanser i use in the shower is a dial antibacterial soap it is going to be right here on the screen for you guys it is this it's the gold bar and i promise you if i don't use this i don't feel clean like now that I've double cleansed for so long, I can't just use one body wash in the shower and walk out because I just don't feel clean. Like I need an antibacterial soap, please. Like get the bacteria off of my body. Anywhere there's like heat release points is what they call it. My underarms, under my knees, behind my ears, near my intimate area, not in, 
but near and around. I have found that when I use the Dial Antibacterial before my body wash, I just, one, feel so much more clean, and then two, smell so much more fresh throughout the day. Now this is double cleansing. So first you cleanse with something that's antibacterial, something that's gonna strip away the dirt and grime. And then of course, we wanna use a fun body wash. We wanna use a body wash that smells good. So I've been using the Salt Hair. This is the Golden Hour, and if you can envision what golden hour smells like, it's gonna be this body wash. This body wash smells absolutely amazing. Its main note is passion fruit and it just smells so amazing. So I'll go in with the dial, make sure to really focus on those areas like my underarms, anywhere where odor is really potent. And then after I'll use my fresh smelling body wash and I find myself smelling super good all day. Okay, next up I wanna talk about something I did not believe until I tried it and that is going to be oil pulling. If you've been on TikTok, I know you have seen this product everywhere. And I'm just like, okay, y'all are not about to get me. Like, absolutely not. But my husband ended up buying it. And then I'm like, let me just use it. Okay, it's here. Let me just use it. I started oil pulling three times a week. And let me just tell you, my just oral health in general is so much better. I feel like my breath literally smells fresh all day. It's helped to whiten my teeth. I don't have dry mouth like I used to. That was a huge one for me, y'all. I'm telling you, oil pulling is the truth. So this one's from Guru Nada, Nadana, Nanda, Nanda. Girl, you tell me, I don't know. <laughs> But I'm telling you, oil pulling is definitely the truth. It helps to improve your overall gum health. It can help with gingivitis or bleeding gums. It can help with halitosis or bad smelling breath. It really just helps to eliminate bacteria in your mouth while also whitening your teeth. So this is like the overall goat for me. I'll go in, I'll brush my teeth. I use my water flosser and then I oil pull for about 20 minutes, three times a week. And I have definitely seen amazing results, okay? If you wanna take your hygiene to the next level, try oil pulling. Okay, next up is gonna be a product that actually saved my life during postpartum, I'm not gonna lie. If you've had kids and you've gone through the postpartum era, you know that your body odor changes a lot, especially in what they call the fourth trimester, which is like the three months after you have your baby. Your body odor, now it may just be me, but I've heard from other moms as well, your body odor is very, very strong. And it's said to be because your baby needs to smell you. Kinda like, you know, like an animal needs to know where their mom is, will like, Think of us, okay? The baby needs to know where you're at. So your body odor <laughs> increases. So I was like, okay, what can I do to combat this? Because this is just entirely too much. Like I'm not used to this. I was doing some research and found witch hazel to be the truth. Witch hazel saved my life one too many times. Okay, girl? If you use witch hazel under your arms, near your intimate areas, it will literally take your hygiene to the next level. So witch hazel is an antioxidant. It helps to control oil production and can help to eliminate some of that bacteria that may be causing odor. And it did exactly that, y'all. I would apply it after I had to shower. When I was in postpartum, I literally showered morning and night and sometimes during the day just because I literally felt so gross. Would not recommend showering that much, but I did use it every time I showered. So whether it was the morning or night, I would just take like a cotton round, put some on it, put it right directly under my arms, put it around my intimate areas, and your girl was smelling good. Your girl was smelling fresh, thanks to the witch hazel. Okay, next up is gonna be a product that's really gonna help my girls out that just got bellies that hurt. I used to be a belly hurting girl. Like, belly was always hurting. I was always bloated. I had so many digestive issues, and I was just like, what is going on? I ended up literally having to go to my doctor for it because your girl was on the struggle bus when it came to like digestion and everything. And what my doctor recommended was a pre, pro, and post Biotic. I know that we're always preached like, take a probiotic, take a probiotic. And probiotics are great, but you are not gonna get the full effect unless you take a pre, pro, and a postbiotic. These three together are gonna help with your digestion and just gonna help with your bloating in general. So what a prebiotic does is it helps to target the undesired bacteria in your belly while also supporting the good bacteria. So we have good bacteria and we have bad bacteria. So it targets the bad bacteria while supporting and feeding the good bacteria. And then the probiotic really helps when it comes to your digestion, relief in bloating and gas, like I'm telling you. Hygiene is just not about what's going on on the outside, but it's definitely about what's going on on the inside, okay? Because you can be smelling great, got the best body washes, but your stomach is doing backflips and turning around and doing jumping jacks. Baby, take the prebiotic. <laughs> 
and then a postbiotic provides fuel to the cells that make up your gut lining and then helps to support a healthy gut barrier. So all three of these are all focused towards your gut health. And when you put them all together, I promise you all of your digestion problems, your bloating, your gas, everything like that is gonna be significantly reduced when you stay consistent with this and take it every single day. Okay, so next up is going to be a product I was recently introduced to when I had my daughter two years ago. So if you got a baby, you know that you use baby wipes. And we were really heavy on using water wipes with my daughter, Genesis. And I was like, listen, if these are good for a baby, you know, it's 99% water, 1% fruit extract. I'm like, I could probably use these on myself when I use the restroom. I don't know about y'all, but I, I like to feel clean after I use the restroom. And I just feel like toilet paper is just not gonna suffice. Like you just cannot convince me that toilet paper is gonna suffice when I literally have to wipe my daughter's bum with wipes because that's what's going to cleanse it. So I was like, let me go ahead and start using these little water wipes. I'm telling you, I felt so much more clean after I used the restroom. And this is a little TMI, but is it really because we all go, okay? Let's not be cute, let's not be cute. We all know what it is. We all use the restroom and I'm telling you, use water wipes. Now I'm saying water wipes in specific because they are so, so gentle and the main ingredient in them is water, which is important because down there we can be very, very sensitive and you don't wanna play with like perfumes. I've seen a lot of different like honey pot ones and I'm just like, I don't know if I wanna use passion fruit cherry down there. You know, it's like, I don't know all those chemicals and dyes and all that stuff. So water wipes seemed like a really safe option to me and has been working amazing. Okay, so next up is gonna be a tip I actually learned on TikTok and has changed the way I applied perfume on my body. Listen, I know we've all heard put perfume here, put perfume here, put perfume here. Like we've heard it. We don't know why, but we, we've heard it. But when this woman explained like the science behind why we're supposed to do that, I was like, oh, I should actually start doing that. Because one thing about me, I will take my perfume. Shout out Forever Mood. I will. Because I'm trying to smell good. And it's like, girl, you're not even getting the full use out of the perfume because you're putting it on your clothes. Perfume is not supposed to go on clothes, y'all. It's not, and let me tell you why. Perfume is meant to take on like your body's chemistry. And the only way it can do that is by being applied to your skin directly. That's why different perfumes may smell different on different people because we all have a different body chemistry. So you take your perfume and apply it on your heat release points. Well, why do you apply it on your heat release points? Because they release heat, meaning they're going to release the scent of the perfume and make your entire body and aura smell absolutely amazing. If you just spraying it on your clothes, it's not releasing any heat. It's not releasing the actual fragrance. It's just sitting on your clothes. So you're going to smell really good when you first initially spray it on your clothes. But then five hours later, you don't smell like your perfume anymore because it's gone. You got to put it on your skin. So I put it behind my ear. I put it right here directly onto my skin, not blotting it in. I put it on my wrist, I put it on the back of my knee, and then I also put it on the heat release point on my chest, which is right here. And I found that this point has been the one that really changed the game for me because I just, I smell my perfume so much more when I started putting it on that heat release point. And even people have come up to me and are like, oh my goodness, you smell so good. What are you wearing? And I'm just like, is it what I'm wearing or is it how I'm applying it? Because I just literally feel like I'm walking with a cloud of perfume around me because I'm applying my perfume the correct way. So there's your lesson for today, sis. Now, if you want your clothes to smell good, that's a different story. Like we can talk about that. We can get your clothes to smell good, but you've got to use a body spray to do that. Use a body mist and make sure your body mist complements your perfume. So I'm using Hard To Get by Forever Mood and I'm gonna pair it with Warm and Cozy because they have those same undernotes. They're both warm, they're both like a gourmand, they're both sweet, got a little bit of vanilla in them. So they pair together very nicely. Now don't use Hard To Get and then use some super dark, deep scent 
for your body mist. Like those aren't gonna go together. So make sure that you are coordinating your fragrances. And this also goes in with your body wash, whatever hair care you use. If you're super extra like me, I like everything to coordinate. <laughs> and I've just found that I smell so much better when I do that. So next up is gonna be a tip that you have probably heard over and over and over again, but I wanna go a little bit in depth about this tip because it really is a game changer. So I know we talked a little bit about why it's so important to care for your internal health just as much as you're caring for the exterior but let me tell you this is an essential you need this you literally need this like God created us and was like oh they need this thing and that thing is gonna be water drink water drink water drink water drink water <laughs> like I cannot say it enough I know people okay who will wake up and pour them a glass of coke and I'm just like and then wonder why their skin is a mess, wonder why, you know, they've got all these gut issues, wonder why they can't burn the fat they want to burn. And I'm like, baby, if it's one thing you do, just, dr just drink water. Just drink water, okay? I drink water, I drink coffee. And I am tempted at times like, oh, like I want some juice, I want some juice. You know what I do? I get a water dense fruit, like pineapple, or watermelon so I can still get that flavor, but I'm also intaking a lot of water at the same time. I'm telling you, your body will literally thank you. You cannot be out here dry, girl. You're dry, your body's screaming, your body is in need of water. God said, I will give you living water. <laughs> There's two types of waters you need. You need the living water of Jehovah Jireh, and you also need real water, physical water, baby. Drink the water, okay? Drink the water. My challenge for you is to not drink any other liquid besides water for 90 days. And this is if you like hate water, because I know some people genuinely they're like, I don't drink water, I hate water, I can't stand this days of water. Drink water for 90 days. Just, just water, no juice. Even cut out coffee, no soda. I promise you, your body, your skin, everything will reflect what's been going on and, and the fact that you're actually feeding your body what you need. So there's my TED talk on that. <laughs> Along with the drinking water, try to prioritize limiting processed sugar. I know this is really hard for me and I'm trying to get better at it, but limit processed sugar, fried foods, and like I said, sodas. Those are really like out to get you. And I know they're so good and I know they taste amazing. And I know you're on TikTok and you see somebody cooking some fried chicken at 3 a.m. and you want some fried chicken, then you open up DoorDash and now you're ordering fried chicken. Your gut is screaming, but you're ordering fried chicken. Stop. Stop doing it, <laughs> stop doing it. I'm telling you, one thing that works for me is doing something really extreme and then implementing it in my daily life. So like I will do a 90 day fast from whatever just has me in a chokehold. And then I find it so much more easy to incorporate it into my lifestyle. And this is just me personally, it may not be for everybody. I know if I try to say like, oh, let me stop eating, you know, only eat fried food two times a week or whatever. Like it's just not enough for me to detox. I'm somebody who needs to detox. And then I just lose the taste for that thing. So it seems so much easier to incorporate it in my life. So if you're like me, that method may work. Maybe go 90 days, no processed sugar, no fried food, just drinking water. And I guarantee you're going to see some significant changes. All right, next up is gonna be another super helpful tip that has transformed my hygiene. And that is going to be washing my pillowcase every single week and washing my sheets every two weeks. So many dead skin cells get into your bed. So many dust mites. Oh my gosh, I saw this video on TikTok of all these dust mites. I was like, what? Am I actually sleeping with dust mites? And though you can't see them, they're there. And that's just too much for me. If you struggle with acne and body acne in specific, make sure you're prioritizing washing your sheets. Like I said, there's so much dead skin cells that get into your bed. And just creating that routine of washing your bedding frequently is definitely going to help with that. Make sure you're using a laundry soap that is not only gentle, but also a nice refreshing scent. So I personally use the seventh generation in the lavender scent. I've gotten so many compliments about how my clothes smell in general. And I just feel like this is a neutral scent, you know? Like I didn't want something that was super distinct and potent like Tide because it just doesn't complement any of my perfumes or any of my body lotions. It just doesn't complement anything. It's a very just out there scent. But something like a lavender is something I can build on. So I am very calculated. I make sure that everything is cohesive. This is a pretty gentle soap so it's gonna help if you do experience body acne or anything like that. All right, next is going to be my last and final tip. This was so fun, y'all. I need to make more videos like this. If you want more, drop, drop up. What should we drop? What should we drop? What should we drop? What should we drop? Drop a watermelon 
and a pineapple because we talked about watermelon and pineapple in this video drop a watermelon and pineapple to let me know you want me to make more videos like this because now i know that you made it to the end and you're a real one <laughs> so my next tip is going to be something that just literally makes you look like you're glowing like when people look at you they're going to just stop and be like she looks absolutely beautiful and that thing is going to be body oil and body shimmer these two have been my trusties for so long y'all like i don't know how i still have this much of this product because i use it every single day now there is a difference between these two and i want to make that known because some people think if they just put on like this body shimmer that they're gonna have that like illumination because there is actual like shimmers or sparkles in this sometimes just using a body shimmer alone just makes you look sparkly and if that's your thing that's your thing but i don't want to just look like i got glitter on my body i want to literally look like i'm illuminating so i found putting these together using just a little bit a little bit of this because i do like a little bit of a sparkle but not too much but really focusing on my body oil makes me look like i'm illuminating like i'm glowing i'm gonna put some on for y'all just to show you the difference that this makes this is from pink i probably got it like a year and a half ago it's the cocoa pineapple i don't even know if they still have it i really hope they do because it is just my favorite favorite thing ever always putting some on your chest because this is definitely like a very obvious point of your body but i also put it on my arms on my legs on my neck like anywhere where skin is showing and it just makes you look so moisturized like oh she's fresh out the shower she looks good she smells good like all the things and then i'll go in with just a little bit of this tom ford soleil blanc just like two little sprays and kind of just blot that over so it blends out and i just be feeling like i'm glowing because i'm literally i'm literally glowing <laughs> All right, girl, that is gonna wrap up these hygiene tips for today. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. I want your feedback. I'm trying to like expand my content, get out of my comfort zone. You guys know I love to vlog, but like sometimes vlogs get a little boring and I'm not trying to vlog all the time. So that's why I love making these little sit down chats with y'all just to connect and put you on to all of the best tips that I found to be useful and helpful. So I love you, girl. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. If you like this, share this with somebody so they can share it with somebody and they can share it with somebody. Let's just make a sharing train, okay? We're gonna share this video to everyone. So I love you, I appreciate you, God bless you, and I'll see you next video. Bye.